This 29-year-old female patient was referred to me for endodontic treatment of tooth number 15. She had TMD, so she had a very, very hard time keeping her mouth open. We tried a child-sized bite block, and she couldn't even handle that. She could only open this much, and every few minutes, I had to give her a little break. She would literally dislocate her jaw when she would open it. You could hear it. You could see the jaw move forward and get dislocated. So it was, it was really, really tough for her and for us, of course, to do a root canal on tooth number 15. These were 21 millimeter long roots. And looking at the radiograph here, you really can't tell if this tooth has whatever canals that you think you think it should have, three canals, four canals, five canals, six canals, and you also can't see the, uh, the curvature of the canals, how curved these canals are. So let me show you the post-op. So here's one post-op, okay, so you think three canals, again, 21 millimeter long roots. We went ahead, cleaned out the decay, rebuilt the mesial wall there, and then endo access was made, and of course, all under a rubber dam. And uh, so you see three canals here, again, 21 millimeter long uh, roots here. Let me show you different angulation. Also pay attention to the conservative endo access right there. Here's another angulation. Now you can see the curvature of the MB root. See that? That's a 90 degree curvature right there. And the MB root had three canals in it. MB1, MB2, MB3. So that's... <laughs> Those are the things that, that you can't see on, on a PA, but you need to pay attention to. And, uh, well, I work under a surgical operating microscope, so I, I will find them. If they're there, I can see them, I will find them. But the mesial buccal root had three canals in it, MB1, MB2, MB3, and look at that nice curvature there again, as I said, distal buccal and palatal on a patient with TMD and opening this wide. As you can see, everything went great. We went ahead and temporized the tooth and referred the patient back to her dentist for the permanent restoration. I feel bad for the general dentist who's gonna have to work on, on this tooth, build it up and crown it. Because yeah, she really, she really, the patient had a really hard time. This root canal took me about 40 minutes to do from start to finish. If the gen a general dentist had attempted this root canal, it would have been a nightmare. Nightmare, not only for the general dentist, but also for the patient. It would have probably taken four, five, six hours. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, all this time, the patient would have suffered. And as I said, the general dentist would have suffered probably more <laughs> because of that the stress but anyways we did this in four, four, uh, 40 minutes and uh, the patient still had a hard time but I told the patient next time if you need a root canal we will definitely sedate you and she she agreed but again as you can see everything went beautifully so as I was saying these are the things that the general dentist need to pay attention to and, and uh, not bother with them like you don't need to spend two, three, four hours on a root canal on a patient with TMD and limited opening on tooth number 15 with curvature like this and five canals. You miss, you miss a canal, out of, you miss one canal or two canal uh, out of the five and the, the root canal will fail. The patient will suffer, the root canal will fail and it adds more stress. Uh, beside, besides the stress of, of doing the root canal on a patient like this, uh, then afterwards, you're gonna have you're gonna have stress of, of now managing this patient and then uh, either trying to redo the root canal yourself, which would be <laughs> the dumbest decision that that you, you you would you would make if you if you made that decision as a general dentist, or uh, referring to an endodontist. Uh, us endodontists, we really like to start with a with a blank canvas. We don't like to redo root canals on a tooth that's already been worked on. The patient's already. Uh, you know, unhappy, um, 
stressed, uh, angry, probably. Uh, and now we have to do all kinds of other managements as well, like uh, patient management. Now patient management becomes important. And now we have to explain things. And, you know, the patient is, is he has, uh, you know, the, the patient's mind has been, has been uh, uh, corrupted now uh, uh, by all kinds of feelings, negative feelings that, 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 that he or she now has uh, about dentists and, and, and root canals and what have you. So it would be best if you just refer us these cases, these complicated, difficult cases, complex cases. And you just, if you want to, if you really like root canals, do, do, do root canals on the easier teeth, like the anterior, upper anterior teeth, or maybe premolars and things like that. All right. My two cents. Take it or leave it.